Hey everybody, welcome back. In our last video, we talked about how to do a prefix to a base unit. And all that we did when we had a prefix to a base unit is if we had a number, let's say we had something like 2000, okay? And we had a prefix with it, let's say that we had 2000 micrometers, like this. All that we did with that was that we substituted uh, wherever we saw the prefix, we basically just substituted for whatever that power was. So we said it's 2,000 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And so that's what we did uh, by going prefix to base. But now in these videos, I'm going to show you um, how to go from the base to the prefix and then how to go prefix to prefix. Okay, so we're going to focus on this and this, this video is going to focus on these two things. Down the road, I'm going to give a video on how to uh, go from metric to English or English to metric and then how to go like prefix to base when you're dealing with area or volume. It's a little bit of a different uh, scenario when you're doing that. So let's get started on uh, the base to the prefix. So the base to the prefix, what do I mean by that when I say base to prefix? Well, basically what I'm saying is this. Let's say that you had 123, something simple here, meters. And I would like to go take that into, uh, let's just say, gigameters, right? Now, before I replaced it to go to the base unit, but I'm going base unit to prefix now. So what you do in this case, it's very simple. You just take the original base unit and you divide by the prefix now. So you divide that by 10 to the 9 now. And that's going to give you gigameters. Okay, so when you're going base to prefix, you just divide. And then we can take that a step further. You know, we can bring this up to the top. And when we do that, we get 123 times 10 to the minus 9, right? Gigameters. And we can take that a step further if you want. You can put it in scientific notation. Move this over two steps here, right? We can say 1.23 times 10 to the minus 7 gigameters. If you would like to do it that way, it doesn't really matter right now. I'm just showing you how to convert back and forth. Let me show you the long way. The long way, that's the traditional dimensional analysis way. So if I was doing this the long way with traditional dimensional analysis, I'm going to use a different color here just to highlight. So if I want to do this the traditional way, uh, I would start out here. I'm going to just draw out my original unit here, which is 123 meters. And I know that there's 10 to the 9 meters in a gigameter. And then the meters will simply cancel out, right? So I know for a fact that these will cancel out and I'll end up with gigameters. And that's how I would do it the traditional way. And you would still have to bring up the 10 uh, up to the top and convert it to scientific nota notation that way. So that's just an example. Let's do, let's do another example, doing it the fast way. Uh, let's say that I have, um, let's say, I'm, I'm, again, I'm going here, I'm going uh, base to prefix. So let's just say that I have, you know, uh, five, uh, let's just say newtons into micronewtons, like this, micronewtons, okay? So again, the fast way, all I'm going to do is divide by that prefix. So I'm going to take 5 divided by 10 to the minus 6, mi and that's going to be micronewtons, okay? And I'm going to bring it up to the top, so I'm going to say 5 times 10 to the 6 micronewtons, and that's all you need to do. And it's just the quickest method just to go, uh, you just divide. If you're trying to go to the prefix, you just divide. So it's 5 times 10 to the 6 micronewtons. So that's, th that's the quick way to go from the base to the prefix. Now let's talk about uh, going from prefix to prefix. So let's say I'm going to go from one prefix to another prefix. How do I do it? Well, really what I'm going to do is I'm going to just be combining the last two steps I'm going to go from the prefix to the base, and then from the base to the prefix. Let me give you an example. So let me zoom in here a little bit more, just so we can get some better uh, writing resolution here. I'll go to 200 here. OK, so prefix to prefix. So let's say that I want to have 97. Say I want to go 97 
kilometers into micrometers okay so I'm going from a prefix to a prefix right well what am I really doing let's just write this out in a couple extra steps I have 97 kilometers and let's just go first through meters and then let's go into micrometers okay so I'm just do I'm just combining to the previous two steps right that's all that I'm doing so how do we go to the base unit we know we just substitute right so for example I'm gonna go 97 and we know kilo is what kilo is just times 10 to the 3 meters right that's just what kilo means right so I'm gonna show you here this kilo here like this that's just 10 to the 3 right so I'm just gonna show you there that's all that I did I just substituted it in right now I'm in my base how do I go to my prefix I just divide right so 97 times 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the negative 6 once I do that okay n whoops let me go back here that was a little bit too big of an eraser okay once I do that now I'm now I'm in micrometers okay now I'm in micrometers so dividing by that prefix gives me micrometers just like that so how do I come write all that out well let's just write it out in one big step I bring this up to the top so it's 97 times 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 6 when this comes up it becomes 10 to the 6 micrometers okay so I can combine it one more step I can say 97 times 10 to the 9 micrometers or I can say you know just 9.7 times 10 to the 10 micrometers it's pretty simple stuff um, it's a nice shortcut to do if you just really want to get places quickly so again I substitute this times 10 to the 3 divide by 10 to the negative 6 10 to the 3 over 10 to the minus 6 becomes 10 to the 9 move it over to the left once add an exponent so it's 9.7 times 10 to the 10 micrometers the cool thing about this is is that you can begin to do this in your head like very quickly you don't even need, I mean you can just say kilo to micro very quickly 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the negative 6 becomes 10 to the 9 very quick right super quick stuff let me just do it the long way just to show you the traditional dimensional analysis the long way that we would do this uh, and what I would do in this case is I would simply just begin going on the line here so I'm gonna draw a line down like this okay and we're gonna be doing a couple conversions here so let's choose a color like purple here so I'm starting out with 97 kilometers here and I want to go to micrometers right so 97 kilometers and I know there's one kilometer and 10 to the 3 meters so the kilometers cancels and then I know that there is 10 to the negative 6 meters in a micrometer and I could cancel that out right so I'm just left with the same exact thing that I had up here right it's the same exact thing it's just a few more steps um, to go through the process they're both right uh, they're both right there's nothing wrong if you want to do the long way that's that's fine I just think it's a lot easier just to do it this way um, you'll still get the same exact thing here okay so if I wrote this out I'm gonna get the same exact thing 97 times 10 to the 3 micrometers over 10 to the minus 6 and isn't that exactly what I had here is not exactly what I had but I just did this one in one step right so it's much easier just to when you're going to the base unit you substitute in the prefix when you're going from the base to the prefix you divide by the prefix and you're done same exact answers I hope you can see that there's no difference here uh, when dealing with these so when you're going just straight prefix to prefix or prefix to base much easier just to do this substitution method um, and instead of just going through all of this uh, factor labeling and dimensional analysis um, now down the line we're gonna see 
that when we get into uh, going from English system to metric, you have to go ahead and do the, the, the long dimensional analysis uh, through this method of direct variation uh, to, to come up with the answer. But um, for, for things just, you know, for the basic things of going from prefix to prefix and whatnot, this is a much more efficient and direct method. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.